Hello viewers, welcome to Divine Stories. My name is Love Vester, and I narrate stories and near-death experiences of people who have died, gone in comma, and who have seen the other side. If you enjoy watching these videos, please consider giving us a thumbs up and hitting the subscription button and the bell icon to be notified of our new videos. Doing so is free and it does help us to grow. So thanks for your support. I was given a vision when I was conscious with my eyes open while I was in the IQ room at the National Hospital of Singapore. It was eight o'clock at night. I saw what looked like a movie plane on the curtains of a window in the hospital. In that vision, I was very surprised to see hell. Many of God's servants who had served before me were burning at the stakes. This is what really surprised me. I could not bear to see the scene. I saw deceased active church members and fundraisers for God's work in the burning hell, although they preached the word and conducted revival meetings everywhere. It never entered my mind that they would not enter the kingdom of heaven. When I saw that, I said to God that I don't want to go into that place. God said, why does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? Then I saw a hundred people queuing up to buy oil, but only five people got the oil and only they could light their houses. In those five houses, they could praise and worship God, but the other 95 were in a very dark state. They were only weeping, wailing, and groaning. The five servants of God who managed to get the oil are like the five wise virgins of Matthew 25 whose lamps were filled with oil. The oil speaks of the Holy Spirit, especially about the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The indwelling Holy Spirit is received at the time of regeneration, but the filling of the Holy Spirit comes through continual seeking following the moment of regeneration. The five servants of God who managed to get the oil are the ones who paid the price in making sure that their spirits are always filled with the Holy Spirit and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the Old Testament temple, the candlestick provided the only light for the priests to do their work in the most holy place. This is the type and shadow for the New Testament priests or servants of God to work and serve only by the light of the Holy Spirit, as the candlestick is the type of the seven spirits of God. The servants of God who has oil will flow in the seven spirits of God in their ministry, and thus the church under their pastoral care would be bright. Furthermore, the candlestick should light upon the table of shall bread, which is the type and shadow of the word of God. Thus, the New Testament priests and servants of God should read, meditate, teach, and preach the word by the Holy Spirit. They will preach the spirit of the word, which gives life, and not the letter of the word which kills. 2 Corinthians 3-6 Who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. The other ninety-five servants of God who did not get the oil are like the foolish virgins who did not have enough oil of the Holy Spirit in their spirits. They did not pay the price to get the oil by continually seeking the Lord. Thus their ministrations in the churches are not by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, but by their flesh and by their natural minds. They do not have the light of the Holy Spirit, but they teach dark knowledge according to their own darkened minds as if they do not know God. Ephesians 4.18 They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to their hardness of heart. They minister according to the letter of the word and thus kill their congregation spiritually. That is why those 95 servants of God who did not have the oil have dark churches. Eventually their church members are starved spiritually, poisoned spiritually, and die spiritually. As these 95 servants of God are responsible for their church members losing their salvation, these servants of God also lose their salvation. Matthew 7, 21, 23. Not everyone that said to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. Twenty-two many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, and in your name have cast out devils, and in your name done many wonderful works. Twenty-three. And then will I profess to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. Luke 13, 26, 28. 
Then shall you begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in your presence, and you have taught in our streets. 27. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not from where you are. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. 28. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, when you shall see Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and yourselves thrust out. Strangely, during that 15 to 20 minute period of vision, no hospital staff entered my room as usual. I also felt God was beside me. God was talking to me and reminding me of his words. I admit I am a rebel. Once God commanded me to do a thing, but I didn't do it. I was often told to preach at church A or B, but I didn't want to because I didn't like their pastor's opinion or his doctrine. But God said, you are not serving humans, but serving me. From then on, my thinking changed after that situation. The vision made me feel compassion for God's servants who could be accepted or rejected in God's kingdom later. Finally, I said to God, give me the strength to the finish line, and I will tell this vision to your people wherever I serve. Acts 20:24. 20, but none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear to myself, so that I might finish my course with joy in the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus, to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Now we read you the second message. Welcome, and please make sure you have subscribed, liked, and commented on this video if you haven't. Thanks. This is why you are going to end up in hell. Extremely shocking. Ahab and Jezebel, other Israelite kings, Pharaoh's army, little children, those who don't evangelize, and others in hell by Zipporah Meshula, 19 February 2018. Today I woke up for midnight prayer with my sister Rachel. As we prayed, the presence of the Lord was so strong in the room that I could not even lift my hands up in worship. Whenever I lifted them up, I found myself head down, bowing before the presence of the Lord. When we finished praying, we were so happy because of the presence of the Lord, which had come in a powerful way. When I went back to bed, I did not even close my eyes to sleep when my spiritual eyes opened. I was wide awake and began to see with my spiritual eyes. I saw a large rock like the ones which were used for sealing tombstones in biblical times. It was round in shape and extremely large and thick. It was laid down like a lid to hell. I saw the rock move as if by a great pull, like a lid being pulled to one side, and the sound of the pull produced an extremely great noise. Hell was opened, and I began seeing what I was not seeing due to the rock that had been preventing me. When I looked inside, I immediately saw countless people, like the sand of the seashore, lifting up their hands from side to side, moaning helplessly. These people did not stop moaning in pain for one second, but went on and on, and as if it was an unending song. I did not hear them stop crying for one minute. It was as if singing a song that they couldn't song singing. The pain was horrible. They went woo, 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 non-stop. Their hands were in the air and they were moving them up and down in circular motions while continuously moaning. These people had burnt so much that their skin was gray in color like ash. They were countless, literally countless. I saw men, women, teenagers, old people, the lame, the blind, and even children. People were even in wheelchairs, but they were in hell. They had sinned on earth. Some had an amputated hand or an amputated leg or just one good eye, and some even had crutches. Being lame or amputated doesn't mean you will not go to hell when you sin. I saw all varieties of ages, those in their 20s, those in their 30s, those in their 50s, those in their 90s, etc. Totally countless. I could even see the variations between the people. I could see that this person is short, that person is tall, this person is fat, that person is slim. Some even had beards that looked unkempt, while some were in expensive-looking business suits, etc. In short, I could see that they were people like us from all walks of life and races. The multitude was endless in all directions, to the right, left, back, and front. It was like a great carpet which kept unrolling without reaching its end. I did not see where the people began or where they ended. I was just in the middle. They were there for different reasons lying, stealing, pride, fornication, worldliness, etc. The list is endless. Children in hell. I saw a boy who looked ten, who was there for insulting. He had learned these insults from what he was watching on television. I also noticed that he was wearing a shirt that had a demonic drawing of a Spider-Man cartoon. 
but the Lord said this cartoon had been drawn in the image of a real demon in hell. The Lord had previously told Ranchal and I that he doesn't want his children wearing clothes with demonic drawings. There is a drawing which controls their behavior when they wear that. The Lord had also told us that people should get rid of clothes with drawings such as skeletons and skulls and other demonic drawings because they have evil spirits. You can only pray for clothes, doughy tea, and demonic drawings, and they get purified from any spells that were cast on them while making them. The Lord said that for clothes with demonic drawings, these must be burnt. The Lord moved his hand as if uncovering a curtain, and I began to see another section of hell that I was not seeing. It was full of children. Some could have been as young as five and four. The Lord said that if a child reaches an age where they know right from wrong, they have to choose to do the right, or else they are also coming to this place. It's not about how old they are, but about the sin they are carrying. The Bible says to bring up children in the way of the Lord. Proverbs 22-6 For example, a child who does not know right from wrong can steal something from you, but they will make no attempt to hide. However, there is an age where a child will steal something from you and they will hide that thing from you. It means that they have now known right from wrong. At this stage, they are accountable to God for what they do. People don't see it like that, and they think that just because someone four or five, they automatically go to heaven. Children mature differently, and if a four-year-old knows that stealing is bad and yet they steal, that child is answerable before God. Human standards are not God's standards. It's about the sin on them and not the age. That's why the Bible emphasizes on bringing up children in the way of the Lord. The screams were deafening, extremely horrific. Screaming that sounded like it can only be produced by extremely wounded animals battling for their escape from a trap. Now imagine that ten times, and another ten times, and another ten times more intense and desperate. I did not know that human vocals are capable of producing such a sound, especially not that of children. They sounded like horses. There is no human way possible of explaining this. Their shouts of desperation echoed in every inch of hell. They were all stretching out their burnt and bunny hands towards the Lord. No one was too proud to ask for help. But they all, with one accord, as if a signal had been made for them to do so, instantly uniformly stretched out their hands to Him. Looking at their faces made my heart leap in great and intense fear. They were looking horrible. For those who still had eyes, their eyes were popped out as if in shock of the pain they were experiencing, and they made piercing screams. They were human and burnt and suffering beyond what can be explained, and they looked terrifying as if they were not human, but some type of deformed, ugly creature. Thanks for watching, and we hope that you will like this video and subscribe to get notifications whenever we post our upcoming videos in the days to come. See you around. Shalom.